This is the single greatest attack on democracy, on the ability to vote in Texas in more than a decade. Former Congressman Beto O'Rourke, one of the voices coming out against Senate Bill 7 and House Bill 6, both of which aim to change the way Texans can vote. SB 7, for example, would limit extended early voting hours, prohibit drive through voting, allow the recording of voters who need help with their ballots, and ban officials from encouraging voters to fill out mail-in ballot applications. Former HUD Secretary Julian Castro joined O'Rourke and others to denounce the bills during a press conference Tuesday. This is a Republican Party power grab. The Republican Party in Texas is trying to bring back Jim Crow style voter suppression to this state. Not so fast, said Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, who held a press conference at the same time. I've been asked why is this bill is needed? Very simple. The bill is needed because Americans no longer trust the system. In a country where voters do not trust the system is a country in peril. He called out corporations that are publicly taking stands against the bills. When you suggest that we're trying to suppress the vote, you are in essence between the lines calling us racist, and that will not stand. And reiterated his stance on the proposed law. Senate Bill 7 is not voter suppression, it's voter security. Critics disagree. These bills would criminalize efforts to make voting more accessible and disproportionately impact Black and Latino voters. This would constitute a significant backward step in the march towards a fuller, more inclusive Texas. I'm Lauren Zakalik.